Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Knife Chats with Tobias. Well, it's my own fault. I left it up to Skip to do this. And, uh, you know, here we are trying to kick off Machete Monday, the, the Monday before Halloween being Machete Monday. And this is going to be like an annual thing, you know, like National Knife Day. We'll just have National Machete Monday. And uh, I tell him, Skip, don't forget the Woodsman Pal when you're doing this because we want to show a variety of machetes. And does he grab the Woodsman Pal? No. So I guess it's up to me to show you the Woodsman Pal. And this one, this was a modern version of it. They, they have been around since 1941, and these uh, served in combat in World War II, Korea, Vietnam, and uh, who knows, they might still be around. And this is just a really cool machete. And I would still consider it a machete, even though it's a little bit different. Because you got it here. and But it is, well, they call it the Woodsman Pal because it's there to cut down anything you need. It can act as an axe. It can act as a machete. It can act as a pull. That's what this is for. So you can get onto them briars and pull them out of your way so you don't have to put your hands in a bunch of thorns and stuff and you got this cutting edge right there notice there's a big flat blade probably about an eighth inch thick not a lot of flex in it and you got a sharp edge there but notice right at the edge there's no sharp edge and down here it's not sharp but you do have a sharp edge right there in that uh crescent moon shape right there and this is designed for chopping you can chop through trees, you can chop through branches, you can chop through just about anything with this. They did develop a, uh, like a pamphlet to describe how to use this in the event that it ended up being a tool you needed to use in combat, you know, for combat arms, fighting people. But it was really designed for the purpose of like, you need to clear an airfield in the middle of the jungle, grab your woodsman pal. You need to dig a ditch, grab your woodsman's pal. They had them with uh, a D-guard. They also had them with just a straight handle. And uh, both of them are just vicious little tools. This edge here is not sharp at all. So you can actually dig and shovel stuff up if you need to. It makes a crappy shovel, but if you really just need to dig something or if you need to pry something up like a get under there and pry up a rock or something like that you can use that this you can actually cut into a branch and start pulling a branch down with it and, and just chop 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 so yeah the woodsman pal how he missed this one i don't know now this is a modern version the older versions had a a rounded d guard this one's kind of squared off and uh older ones also had a leather sheath this one's a nylon sheath with a nice leather patch there you could almost take that off and use it for something it also has a little pocket on the inside of the sheath where you can uh, put a knife or you can put in a, a whetstone so you can uh, sharpen your device can we see it there probably not but there's a pocket in there nice wide pocket you could put all sorts of stuff in there and then you have to slip it in here notice the metal rivet there the hook goes underneath the rivet so it goes in there and you just snap it in place now it's held in place with velcro they also had some that were zippered along the side in the old days this is a very cheap sheath but you can get a better one if you need it but yeah the woodsman pal how in the world does skip forget the woodsman pal I have a feeling he probably had a couple dark and stormies before he did the video. In any case, I guess this will be my entry for Machete Monday.
Let me take just a second to thank you once again for dropping by and spending a few minutes here at Knife Chats with the Pious. I really do appreciate it, and I do appreciate any comments that you leave. So please uh, remember to give me that thumbs up, and also don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you'll know when the next episode is up and running. Thanks again for dropping by. really do appreciate your time here.